drop, gonna drop. Yeah, so do you feel like people haven't taken those allegations serious enough? I feel like everybody got skeletons in their closet. We grew up in an era where 30 year old men were standing in front of high schools dating young girls. We grew up in an era where everybody heard the rumors about Jay Z being intimate with Foxy Brown when he was 27 and she was 15 years old. So now R. Kelly's in jail, but Jay Z's not in jail. When you start to talk about this topic, you're spinning a bottle on a lot of people, and, and, and this bottle might land on anybody and everybody. Right. So you might have a dude that had a girlfriend. Oh, he's 25. He got a 15 year old girlfriend. And, you know, that was the norm. But when people said it or not, it was the norm. Mm -hmm. In the Bronx, you could get married with your, with your parents' consent at, I think it was like 14 or 15 years old back in the days. It was the norm. So now it's like we have this thing where something a person did 30 years ago, they can get crucified for right now. So nobody wants their secrets to come out. My whole thing is I don't hold, if you did something one time, I don't hold it against you back in the days if you're not living that lifestyle god forgives and i forgive too but bambada has a history he's a repeat offender where he he builds his legacy off of the backs of the babies in the community right so you do believe that there should be kind of somewhat of a statue of limitations on things that you've done but as long as you're not a repeat offender i believe that in the era where we where we grew up that's just like, for example, you got to be real careful. You have a 19-year-old dealing with a 15-year-old, 16-year-old. They're close in age. Right. They're close in age. And sometimes that 15-year-old might be more mature than that 19-year-old. In some cases, she might not be. So even still, they're close in age. And you'll see things like that happen. And people be like, oh, he's a pet or he, he this, he that. Like, No. These are what young kids did because this is what they've seen the adults do. You can't tell a 19-year-old he can't partake with a 15-year-old when you're sitting up there watching 30-year-old men pull up in their BMWs in front of the school and picking these young girls up, getting them pregnant. Two, three years later, they got two or three kids later, and nobody want those girls anymore. So now you done taught all the older, the younger, younger people, the younger crowd to go younger. Nobody wants to really go older. Mm-hmm. And then even when you have the girls that decide, oh, she going to date an older dude, give it some time. And that older dude going to be crying because that younger girl going to leave that older dude for somebody that looks her age. Yeah. I've seen it all the time. So when that's happening to you at 12, what is your immediate reaction? I mean, it's like, it was normal to me because that started happening before Africa Bambada. I was going, I'd have been molested so many times before that man and I said this over and over again. It was a normal thing to me. It became a norm. So it wasn't even surprising to you when that happened to you from him. Because, you know, it, it's research has shown also that it's somehow like if you have been abused before, it's like you almost attract that that it will happen, it's more likely to happen to you again. Man, a predator is a predator. The world is filled with predators. That's the bottom line to that. The world is filled with them. The world is filled with predators. Right. And when you sit back and you analyze, when you hear stories about, like, it's like people don't really like to get in depth in a situation, but Africa being bothered, like, it's like Dr. York. People try to say Dr. York was framed, but before Dr. York was even arrested, you had 20 years, 30 years before he got arrested, you was hearing these rumors about him. And usually where there's smoke, there's fire. 